My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse number 1. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. I charge thee. That means that, Timothy, what you are doing as a teacher and as a preacher of the church of Ephesus, I want to know that you have God to judge you one day. Sometimes we misbehave in the body of Christ because we forget of the truth that God will judge us one day. And Apostle James tells us that the judgment of teachers will be greater than every other person. And Apostle Paul wants to encourage Timothy that, listen to my, me son, one day God is going to judge every teacher of the kingdom. And I'm charging you before that God so that on that judgment day that god would not say i didn't direct you as a father then he begins to teach timothy what timothy must do as a teacher and as the pastor of the efficient church verse 2 he said herald and preach the word keep your signs of agency stand by be at the hand and ready whether the opportunity seems to be favorable or unfavorable he says that be instant, have a sense of urgency. In other words, let everybody know that there is something at stake. Have a sense of urgency. Stand by, be at hand, be ready. Whether the opportunity seems to be favorable or not. In other words, whether people want to hear what you have to teach or not. He says I'll be ready for it. And he said whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Whether it is it is um, welcoming or unwelcoming. That means that if people clap or not, stand with what you must teach. You, you as preacher of the word are to show people in what way their lives are wrong. Look at what Paul is teaching his son Timothy. He said whether they welcome you or not, whether the, the opportunity is favorable or not, whether it is convenient or not, you are to show people in what way they are wrong in life through your teaching and convince them rebuking and correcting warning and urging and encouraging them being unflagging and inexhaustible in patience and teaching keep teaching rebuke warn encourage and he said what i like is that point them in the way that they are wrong in your teaching he said that any time you are doing this, remember that you will stand before a judge one day and he will judge you. You are going to teach a people who wants you to confirm what they want to hear. Who want to feel good about what you are saying. The highest pinnacle of entertainment is not in our music, it's not in our lightning, it's not in the way we brand the church, it's in our teaching. The pastor wants to do everything possible for people to stand up and clap. For people to shout and say that it's good, it was a good message. Have you not realized that if it has to do with rebuke, everybody is quiet? Have you not realized that if it has to do with pointing to the way that people are wrong, they are quiet? But if it has to do with three days' time, you will be that. Four days' time, you will be that. You see people shouting, may that yoke be broken. And Paul tells him that this is your major problem that you are going to face. Some people will welcome this message. Some people will not welcome, but be instant, whether it's out of season or in season. And then the verse said, For the time is coming when people will not tolerate and your sound and wholesome instruction, but having ears itching 
for something pleasing and gratifying they will gather to themselves one teacher after another to a considerable number chosen to satisfy their own liking now God will not choose teachers anymore people are going to choose teachers for themselves this is the biggest error in our time look through scriptures I will give you pastors after my own heart I will give you shepherds after my own heart the Bible said to some he gave apostles to some he gave pastors to some he gave teachers he said that whether Apollos or Paul we are not but we are only the means where you believe unto uh, uh, us God has given you everything the Bible says is that teachers and pastors must be given to the people but Apostle Paul is saying that the time is coming that people will choose their own teachers and they will choose their teachers because they have 18 years. And they will heap these teachers onto themselves. So that those teachers will tell them what they like. And will foster their errors in life. And that is the highest form of entertainment today. I don't like my pastor. I like this one. Anytime this one preaches, I feel encouraged. I feel good. I, I come to realize that no matter my mistakes things are fine no matter my sin God is still with me no matter my weaknesses God is still with me Apostle Paul says that they will heap onto themselves teachers who will confirm and gratify what they like and will foster their errors ah, may God help us in this generation and Apostle Paul is telling them that the efficient church Timothy the efficient church has this problem that you will have to face and he said that time will soon come let's read Acts chapter 20 verse 20 when apostle paul was departing from the efficient church take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the holy ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of god which he has purchased with his own blood he said take heed over this flock which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers and what you must do is to feed them please Grace Mountain I want to tell you my job the job of the pastors in this church is to feed you with knowledge feed you with understanding feed you with the Word of God until you are stable in Christ and you are growing into the fullness of his measure every other thing is secondary sir and paul is saying that take it to feed the people for i know this that after my departure shall grievous wolves enter in among you not sparing the flock then he begin to describe who the wolves are also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them so this is this is who the wolves are they are going to speak things teaching teach people who have itching ears until these people run after them these people one sign is that they will make disciples of themselves this is my jesus this is my lord this, this pastor, so-so and so, is my dad. Hey, pastor Elvis here. Me, me, nah, nah. Hey, pastor Elvis here. Say, say. He said that these woes will come. And the agenda is to speak words until they make disciples to follow them. I'm telling you something. I'm not afraid because the whole church must stand in truth. It doesn't matter whether after this message you will not see me as anything again. I don't care. But that's the truth. I am not to make disciples of myself, I am to make disciples of Christ. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. It, I may change it, but it will not benefit you. And he's saying that as good for you should feed the people until they become disciples of Christ. Because these wolves are coming. And one sign of the wolves is that they will teach to a point that people begin to follow them. And see them as their law. Then go ahead to the verse 31. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Then Paul is coming to give them a recommendation. Now, and now brethren, I recommend you to God. Somebody say, I recommend you to God. 
I recommend you to God because of the woes that are coming this is the solution I recommend you to God and to the word of his grace and when you look into the Greek meaning of this particular contest, the recommend, it means that to put something side by side and place it in front of someone. So I put God and his word side by side and I place it before you that become disciples of God and his word of grace. This is it. And he said, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those that are sanctified it doesn't matter who you are following as a person if the person doesn't point you to God and to the word of his grace there is something that will never happen to you that is the building up of your spirit and then you receiving the inheritance of the saints this is why I told you from beginning that some people have been in several churches and what we are doing is that we are entertaining you to keep you but the day that you break hold of this entertainment and you begin to see the, the purpose of God for why you should be part of the church, you realize that you have been wasting your time for many years. That the purpose is that you grow into the image of Christ. That is the purpose. That you grow. Then he said that when people begin to focus on God and the word of his grace, one thing that happens they begin to build up they begin to build up and the next thing is that the inheritance of the saints becomes their portion healing power favor blessings glory kindness love it becomes their portion i pray that from today as you look at the main focus which is christ jesus may you have a share in the inheritance of the saints in the name of the lord jesus i hope you enjoyed this video and i believe that you were blessed if um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description call us and let us lead you to receive jesus christ as your lord and personal savior and lastly make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded you can be notified thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section bye